talk about it? Yeah. So is Oprah running for president? Yeah. I never considered the question even a possibility. I just thought, oh, oh. All right, because it's clear that uh, you don't need government experience to be elected president uh, of the United that's States, what I thought. right? I thought, oh, gee, I don't have the experience. I don't know enough. I don't know. And now I'm thinking, oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. She's joking, of course, but there are worse ideas. See that rebuttal to Trump? <laughs> Out of ideas, the Democrats rebooted Mayberry RFD. But Oprah's an icon who, unlike traditional politicians, could match a wild card like Donald Trump. And if she won, she could give everyone a free car. <laughs> and how different is that really from most Democrats? And consider who her running mate could be, Stedman or Gale. She could replace the cabinet with her book club. <laughs> I kid, but she's quite a story. Born into extreme poverty, not having a pair of shoes till she was six years old, she became the richest black American of the 20th century, worth billions. She's the walking, living, breathing reminder of American opportunity, capitalism, and optimism. She's rugged individualism at its best. However, there is scandal in her life. Her name is not really Oprah, it's Orpa. So who is she really, Oprah or Orpa? Could she be a Russian spy? We'll need an independent investigation, perhaps by Dr. Phil. But really, this is fake news. The real news is that the Democrats and the media are already thinking about 2020. It's natural in team sport politics to only see elections as the game and not all those days in between. It's like the next four years are the world's longest <laughs> halftime. Was there ever a time when the bubble stopped thinking about the next election for maybe one month and just focus on the country? Imagine if on your job, you're only thinking about keeping your job four years from now. You wouldn't get much done. Don't you do that? Maybe in government, that's good. Kimberly. <laughs> All right, by the way, her real name is Orpa, which is a biblical name from the Book of Ruth. So that wasn't the fake news part of it. No, 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 her name is Orpa. But they couldn't pronounce it, so it's Oprah. Mm. She would be a great choice, Kimberly. She's very likable. No, even if she's yeah, joking, she's an she'd win. She's I mean, smart. Yeah, she maybe high favor abilities, the whole deal. So, but would Valerie Jarrett go and run the White House with her? Well, that's a good she question. Moved in with the Obama. Oh, or maybe it'd be Gail or Stedman. You never know, uh, Juan. Never know. I like her a lot, and I like Gail, too. 2020, Juan, Oprah versus Donald, best, greatest election ever, correct? Yeah, I think it'd be fun because, you know, it would be about white women, you know? Really? And, yeah, because guess what? Educated white women uh, are the vulnerability of a Trump candidacy at all times. Mm -hmm. And the, and Oprah knows how to relate to that audience. I don't, I may be even better than George Clooney. <laughs> even I don't know. better than an educated white woman named Hillary Clinton. Perhaps. Yes, apparently <laughs> so, because I don't think that you won't have Benghazi and the Secret Server on Oprah. Question. You'll have to talk about real foundations, real charity, which is what she's But, but you know what? Oprah's smart enough not to run in 2020 because she'll lose. I mean, you, you, there's no chance. She'll be 67, but, Eric. But maybe 2024, as you pointed out. Look, anyone that's smart enough to put a billion dollars in their bank account is probably smart enough to run the country. You have to be, you have to have, A, you have to have talent. You have to hire the right people to, to, to keep them around you, and you can't waste money. And that was the, the theory, that was the, the concoction, the recipe that I thought Trump could bring, and I think he is. So, yeah, Oprah, Mark Cuban, another one who may want to Your take BFF. a shot. My buddy in 2024. Good luck, Mark. But, hey, by the way, Mark Cuban was wearing a 46 jersey to a basketball game last week. Yeah, we saw that. President 46. Oh, we so got it. Gonna, <laughs> the rich, oh, is that only the rich? Oh, the, rich so, the, the rich is the true. best qualification president. No, no, successful oh, uh, business-like yes. qualities, yeah. What I find interesting about Oprah is she was born to an unmarried teenage mother. So she's actually an example of what, how being pro-life can turn into something pretty amazing. Don't Absolutely. you think? Absolutely. Look, I mean, and that's one of the questions of, um, that faces the black community in terms of what are we losing mm -hmm. in, ter in terms of uh, supporting that policy. Anyway, I'm sticking to my prediction. What? I, Al Franken? Al Franken. Mm -hmm. Watch. Interesting. He's setting himself up because he's like, I'm a, I'm a celebrity and I'm a politician and I'm a senator and I'm coming from Wow, Minnesota. that's going to be so scary. I can't take it. <laughs> All right. Going to Ireland. Know. Mark my word. Let's move on. <laughs> it's not Oprah who will run against President Trump in 2020. One of the left's loudest mouthpieces is warning his fellow liberals they're going to lose.